morning. How are you doing? For me, they're a champion. They're a champion for rural health care. RFAP has made a difference by exposing our trainees, um, and I can speak specifically to the medical trainees, exposure to rural practice, everything from the ability to come out uh, early in medical school and shadow in a rural uh, community and find out exactly what is rural all about. Because what a family physician does in a city environment is vastly different from what we do in a rural environment. So to get them early, to pique their interest, to get them to question and say, hmm, this actually looks kind of fun. Uh, then to bring them back out. So the shadowing opportunities through RPAP have been extremely well received. And later on, I see these same students coming in now as doing electives in our clinic or going into the longitudinal training program because they're so intrigued by rural medicine and so getting rid of the myths that are out there about what rural medicine is all about. Uh, we need that exposure. Uh, RPAP's provision of housing for those students and for residents that are coming up to communities for longer stays is huge because that's a big barrier is finding housing um, for people to come in and stay so that they can focus in on their training. We're gonna see a lot of the same challenges we see today. The need for affordable housing for all allied health coming in, whether they're nursing, LPN, X-ray lab, DI, to these communities to come in and try them out. I see a need for training, um, and I think having more training of all allied health in rural communities will benefit. Encouraging and promoting that will help staff rural communities. Okay.